Coming, start recording. It says that we've gone live, but have we actually gone live? Yeah, it looks like we've gone live. Give it a second, give it a second. I hate this person. I'm, I'm pretty sure they hate you too. Hold on, let me go ahead and mute us now. And I think everything should be good to where we are live, my friend. Sweet. Oh, okay. So, what is going on, everyone? This is your boy, Thumb Brother 2, and I am not alone. I am, of course, joined with your boy. What I do, players and trainers, it's your boy, the Blazing Squid. And guys, we are here to bring you the LDL, the Lonely Draft League postseason wrap-up. And just let you know what's been happening if you haven't been following uh and if you haven't you're kind of an idiot i'm sorry but because this is like probably super it's like one of the top hypes in in uh all of tltpg right now because we are finally heading into playoffs finally heading into playoffs but what a busy road it has been right squid yes it has even though my record says otherwise but it's been pretty hard it it's for some of us, it's been a really big uphill battle. Uh, these last few uh, weeks, of course, have uh, just really put a lot of stress on a lot of us because some of us are trying to clinch playoffs. Some of us are trying to knock others out of playoffs and stuff like that. I am definitely included in that. But uh, we have finally locked down the top eight going into the quarterfinals next week. Uh, Squid, do you have the link to the sheet there, or do you want me to... I have it. Oh, I have it right in front of me. Okay, so do you want to go ahead and uh, and pull up uh, and let everyone know who's made it in the top eight, and then we'll go over who versus who. Alright, so in the Kanto Conference, which consists of Arthur, Jesse, Drew3, Isaac, Ranwit, and Alejandro, which was one of our latest coaches, which we'll talk upon. Uh, we have Ranwit in first place going. Squid, of aka Squid. First place uh, taking... I think I was first place last season too. I don't what? remember. I'm did pretty I, sure it was. Did I do if, this it wasn't, right? if it wasn't me, it was Arthur. Did I do this right? Second place would be Isaac. Uh, third place is going to be Jesse. And fourth place, Arthur knocked out Alejandro and Andrew, unfortunately. You want me to go over your conference as well? Uh, I can go over my conference really quick. I have it right, right here. Go over your conference. All right, so uh, so did you, you, went, you went from top to bottom, right? Yeah. Okay, so for the Johto conference, uh, Marco uh, coming in as a new coach early on in the season, freaking, like, went ham and – had a eight and three. We'll, we'll talk individually about the coaches later, bro. Okay, okay. So Marco is uh, top of the Johto Conference, followed by, by your boy taking spot two after a tremendous climb up. Then you got our boy Maddie and Steven just barely holding on to uh, the fourth spot. Unfortunately, Mark and Kenneth. Uh, Thank you guys so much for participating this year, but you know, it, it was just barely out of your reach, uh, but definitely come back next year if you guys want to. we definitely love to have you, especially since you guys came in a kind of mid to late season as replacement coaches. Definitely come back because you guys are awesome at battling for sure. Wait, he said the Facebook Live is garbage. I saw that, but it shows, it says that I'm live in the, in the group. Yeah, cause, cause just Justine's uh, watching. So he says, just, "Hi guys, hashtag Team Not Squid." So it's we're live. Okay, so if you can see it clearly as day, then that's fine. Yeah. Uh, watch it. So. Oh. Yeah. See. Let me turn this off. He says, "Hi guys, hashtag Team Not Squid." So. Yes, yeah, fifteen second delay. Uh, so. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, those are the top eight from each, or top four from each conference going into the playoffs uh, for the quarterfinal round. So Squid, if you want to go ahead and pull up who is facing whom for the quarterfinals, I'll do the same. All right, so for quarterfinals, you have yours truly, yours truly, what the, yours truly, the Blazing Squid up against the Lazy Ghost, our two capture card users, our two YouTubers of the league. Two. I think huh? you forget one more there, you boy. 
who Kenneth? I think Kenneth also. Me. Oh, oh YouTuber. I, I meant capture card user. I meant oh, because you said YouTuber, but I was like, I'm offended. Okay, our three <laughs> YouTubers. We're gonna have more YouTubers. It's gonna be awesome. But yeah, um, I really, I'm really hoping Arthur can record this one live. It would just be a be an amazing experience. But yeah, uh, Arthur, fourth place versus Squid, first place. And then we have Isaac versus Jesse, uh, second versus third place. This is going to be a very interesting matchup. As if you guys didn't watch that battle earlier on in the season, you should. Jesse was on a streak. Isaac was on a streak. And I'm going to let you guys watch that battle and figure it out. <laughs> So who's going on your conference, you no, know? No, no, keep, keep, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. I'm writing all down. All right, all so down. then we have the newest newcomer, Marco, in first place against the one and only president of TOTPG, Steven. It's going to be interesting. Marco has about, like, no more than two months in the group, man. Mm. Steven's been here since day one. So let's see who can take, who can take that route. Uh -huh. And then we have um, second place, Brennan versus Maddie. The rematch. These old time rivals. Old time, old -time rivals. And uh, hopefully not a return of the sweep for Matt. Because uh, and Entei still has some bark in him. That's, that's all I'll say there. <laughs> so that matchup is going to be real interesting, real nice to watch as well. Uh -huh. um, but overall, everyone's hyped for this uh, the, the Blazing Squid versus the Lazy Ghost battle. Oh, yeah. I think like, that's like, the number one. After. after, after watching that battle on your end squid like the like the hype that just happened it's just like that just ju it just goes to show you that any single week someone can have the one up on someone else that's super good as well just because of preparation and for those of you guys who don't know uh you know when it comes to like this format like battling someone just one time is one thing you know you're fresh with your teams and everything rematches are a lot harder rematches are so stupid hard just because you know each other's play style now you know what you've you think that you already brought the best team before to battle them but now you got to go in and rebattle them giving you the opportunity to change stuff your opponent to change stuff or even just keep the same stuff working it's scary it's it's mind games yeah, I, I know, for, at least for last season, I beat Arthur round one. No, not even. Week one, I beat him 4-0. And then to face him off in semifinals, he destroyed me 4-0. It was just devastating. Like, exactly. And, like, Squid, we've we've ourselves has, have gone back and forth as well through, se through well, seasons. I beat you twice. You beat me twice. No, uh, lick me. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> during the main season, you know, I think, I think in a couple of those seasons, I won against you, didn't I? Yeah. And so you would come back in, in like the playoffs and wreck me, so shut up. <laughs> but yeah, so from, of course, you want to choose yourself. Uh, so let's, so let's pick for each other's conference here. Out of the Johto conference, Squid, who do you see making it into the semifinals? Semifinals. Semifinals. We'll uh, start with semifinals. Out of the Marco and Steven. I see Marco taking it over Steven. Really? Dude, Marco, Marco, ever since he joined the league, he's only had one loss, and that was against you, Brennan. And I did not see him go all out in that match. Like, he didn't bring Zygarde. If well, he had no. brought Zygarde, he'd be talking about a different match. Like, he didn't come to me for, uh, for Jenning. I was like, oh, maybe. I guess he said, you know, I'm in playoffs, bro. Like, uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But, you know, then between Matt and myself, you know, Matt, Matt and I's video went up uh, a little bit late just because of, you know, applications not working. But uh, I, I swept Matt with my Entei after I had some rocks up. And it en ended up living a uh, V-Create uh, Fireinium Z from Victini. So... Yeah. So with this rematch between Matt and I, who do you think's gonna who do you think's gonna take the victory there? I usually give it to the loser that loses the first time, but the way you've been playing these last few weeks is just the momentum is going in your favor. You're getting you're finally getting back to your old self. Your teaming your team so are well built. 
Matt has been kind of struggling, if I had to say. I would say, when was his last win? Matt's last win. I think he, I think was, he did against, win the it was, last one. It was it was a uh, mark. It was against Mark for week ten. I know that because I was super hyped with that battle. <laughs> but look, like uh, he just fought. He just fought Alejandro and he lost. Exactly, it, like too much bulk. He beat Mark. Barely was it? I don't even remember now. I don't know. It's just the, the momentum has not been going in his favor. No. He won two zero. Like. Barely won. Mm. I, I don't know. Well, on the other hand, you you've been doing very successful with your matches. You've been getting your flow back. It's just, I see you coming up on top of that one. Okay, so that's for Johto Conference for semifinals for me. Choosing for Kanto between Isaac and Jesse. Oh, that's just that's. I think that's the one's good. Even though like the rematch of you and Arthur is hype. I think I'm more excited for that one because I think both Isaac and Jesse are such wild cards this season, you know? Yeah. Especially the way Isaac came out of the out this season just balls blazing. Like seriously, like Isaac's done so well and Jesse's done really, really well. And and, I've, and of course, now Jesse was like my, I think Jesse was my first win uh, this season, but ah, oh, between the two of them. I might want to give it to, oh, because the thing is, before before all that, Jesse didn't have Kieran Black when I faced him after that trade with Arthur, and with that, I think that might give Jesse the advantage this time around, just because it is such a big wall breaker, and it might be able to handle, you know, bigger threats like the Latios, like the Tapu Koko with like Earth Power and stuff like that, and even the Alolan Muck, which is such a problem for a lot of people that usually don't prep for it. I, yeah. I honestly might want to give it to... I think I'm going to give it to Jesse. And then like, oh, but yours and Arthur's battle, man. It, it, no matter who wins, it's going to be a good battle. No matter who wins, it's going <laughs> to be a good battle. But I feel just because I've seen both of your play styles, I, I know how both of you play really, really well. And I feel like as far as creativity comes, you have the advantage over Arthur. While Arthur's almost a little bit more straightforward with his team building. But with Arthur, I will say he does like to use different items. Like he's a big fan of using berries. He's a big fan of using certain items that you usually wouldn't see with Pokemon. But I think I'm going to have to give your give your creativity a little bit of a reach over his. I'm going to say, you. I, I think you got this rematch. I'm just going to have to bluff some stuff, man. Mm -hmm. It's really bad. Yeah, so... Bluff them scarps. <laughs> so, just so you guys know, the battles will not be happening this week. This is a bye week, because after 11 long weeks of just bullcrap and everything going on, we all decided as admins, you know, let's take a goddamn break. <laughs> let's, take, yeah. let's take one week off clear our heads, come back into it, uh, but we all know who our opponents are, we've already kind of scheduled our battles for the most part, and so uh, don't be surprised if day one of next week you might be seeing battles go down. Squid! <coughs> I'm sorry, something something was in my throat there, don't know what happened, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so. so, besides yourself, of course you want to see yourself in uh, the, the finals, of course. Because we chose for each chose for each other last time, between Marco and I, if Marco comes out balls blazing with that Zy, with that Zy dog and everything else, how you think he didn't probably play to his best ability? Do you see Marco winning against me if we do make it face each other in semifinals? Do I see him winning against you? That is, I need to see your team again real quick, uh, Brennan. Hmm. That's gonna really. That's gonna be a really close match. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a hella close match. It all depends on how you guys play, man. It honestly, it, yeah. It all depends on the reads and Cause your stats. I've been, I've been telling you this since week one, Squid. I feel like it would be a lot better for at least me or us, I should say, if we did meet in the finals. I've been saying that since week one. 
And with the way things are going and just how kind of big headed we are, I think we could see that this season. If not if not that, then you know Arthur would be a nice replacement, but you know, that's that's a like <laughs> <laughs> just to put the pressure on and you know just kind of throw some throw some shit around but yeah it, it's going to be a fun playoff season for sure you have a couple yeah. I mean all three previous uh, champions are back number one so that's awesome you have uh, some some uh, what's it called veterans Steven and uh, Matt that, and Matt, Isaac and Isaac you know Isaac Oki I, and then you have the newcomer out of nowhere, Jesse, just ready to kind of uh, go ham. And so I feel like just with this level here, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really wild, and I can't wait. Just Marco, man, that Marco is. And Marco. Too, I feel uh, like we're falling asleep on Steven, though. I think Steven might make a huge upset now. I I I honestly don't. Oh, I yeah. God. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I might, I might help Steven build. I might, I might help Steven build. I see Matt coming to me for uh, being. For help, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll be ready. I'll be ready. You got your, you got your team building. Help squad? from the first Hokage. Help from the first Hokage. Hello, I am, I am the second Hokage. I am, I am that. Oh no, I got my water pistol jutsu right here, bro. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Um, I don't think that there's anything else more for us to talk about. Playoffs start next week, like I said, you guys. It's going to be wild. So definitely you know, keep watching us here or on the Facebook or on our Twitch channels and stuff. We will keep you guys updated for sure. If you're watching this on YouTube, definitely leave a like down below. And if you're new, definitely subscribe because we'll bring you more awesome content like this all the time. But I think that's all I have to say. Squid, do you want to... Bang that outro? Bang that outro, my dude. You already know. Wait, oh, damn, dude. Okay, that's not... That's Crimson Seed Bad. I was like, oh, put the music. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you're a player, hit that like button. If you're a trainer, hit that subscribe button. And if you're a hater, Squid Nation, go buy a one-way ticket at a bus station. Squid... You guys are amazing. Stay blazing. Squid out. Hey, later, guys.